Hello and welcome back to our survival series. This is episode 10 and in this episode we're going to start work on our crafting system. Now to start on this we're going to work on our crafting database looking at different items we can craft and the recipes that they require. This will be then fed through into a menu system which we'll later on develop. So let's get started with the basics. Okay so we're back in the survival game and we've got our resources set up for wood and stone now. So what I'm going to do is start work on the crafting menu um, and how that all works out. So the main thing we need to do is set up the different crafting recipes and different crafting equipment we can make. So we're going to create a new folder for our crafting. Like so. And in here we're going to create a data struct for our items. And this will be the um, crafting struct. And in a crafting struct, we're going to have the item name that we can actually craft, which would be a text field. And then we're going to have the recipe, more on that in a moment. And then we're going to have the actor that this thing is going to give us. So the actor, we're going to just change this to actor and make this a class reference. But it's not spawned yet into the world, we want to make it a class reference, not an object reference. The name will be a text and the recipe though is going to be a mixture of row names and quantities. So we need to take this into name and then change this into a map and this will be an integer. So a map will take the name of an item, a resource, and the integer will be the quantity of that resource needed. So if we needed to say five wood, we'll put in wood and then five. And if we wanted sap as well alongside that, it'd be wood five, sap two. And that'll give us the actor here. Okay. Um, and that'll do for this. Obviously, you can add more stuff to it, like crafting time and things like that. Um, but that'll do for us in this example. So alongside that, we also need to create the data table to associate with this. So let's go into our miscellaneous data table, crafting, struct, and okay. Crafting data table. Okay, and in here we're going to set up the various things we can make. So I'm going to add a new one and we're going to make a fishing pole. And the recipe for this is going to be simply three wood. So I'm going to put in the name wood and then three. And this actor here is one we haven't made yet. So let's make an actor for this. I'm going to go and put this in here and we're going to make our equipment class uh, be of the type of weapon melee base. So I can search for it here and I can get the child of the weapon melee base here. And this will be weapon melee. Ooh. Fishing hole. Okay. And in here, we can design what it's going to look like. So we just do, I don't think this has a stick or something. Stick. Uh, we'll use a branch, we'll just bend it to our wheel. Um, that's a bit too uh, close enough. So <laughs> we'll do this and we'll just. Um, Until you model something actually worth it, we're not bothered by how ugly it looks for now. Okay, and there's my fishing stick. I'm going to save that and close that. So we can now choose my actor from here. I search for fishing, and we can see the fishing bowl. So it knows what to spawn into the world in my player's inventory. Now, alongside that, we want to be able to store this information also as an inventory system so our player can navigate their inventory and store it as such. Now inventory for us is going to be used in multiple ways. We've got crafting ingredients and then we've got in uh, equipment such as knives, uh, pickaxes, axes and in this case a fishing pole. So we need to make a data table for things that we can equip and also another one for things that we can use like crafting 
items like chairs, fireplaces, things like that. So we're going to go into our uh, where's our tools? Tool tip. We'll make a tool struct. Blueprints structure, and we do uh, equipment struct. And in here again, keeping it simple, we we'll put a name and and have an actor reference. But this also will have eventually like thumbnails and things like that when we get around to that side of things. So actor class reference. Okay, and then we're going to create a data table for that one. So, and we do equipment data. So in here we can add various things in here. We've got X, pickaxe, fishing pole. We'll be adding more onto this later on, but for now that's all I want to do. We're just going to give them row names that match what they actually are. Okay. Um, oh, I set up the actors as well. Open belly axe, uh, pickaxe, and fishing pole. Okay. So our crafting can lead to a variety of different results. So we need to know what the hell we are actually are crafting. Whether it's going to be equipment, whether it's going to be a crafting item, whether it's going to be uh, something we can eat, whatever it may be, we need to know what we're doing here. So what we can do is create a enum for different categories for our crafting. We go to our crafting menu uh, folder, sorry, choose enumeration, and we go E category. And in our categories, we're going to have new category, and this one is going to be equipment. Next one is going to be um, uh, tool, no, not tools. Um, I don't know, it's, uh, structures and furniture. I guess I would call it furniture. Um, another one will be consumables, like food. And another one will actually be more ingredients. So you can make sub ingredients for other recipes. Okay. Again, you can always come back and add more to it later. Okay, so our crafting need to know what category our fishing pole is because we need to know what data table we'll be looking into. So let's go into our crafting struct, add to this one a category, and that'd be our E categories. I can save that and go to my crafting data table now and assign what this is going to be. So fishing pole is going to be equipment. Let me just give that a row name. Fishing pole. Okay. So now we know what data type we want to be using. It's going to be the equipment one. Okay. Um, we're going to close that for now. And then we're going to uh, set it up so that our items that we're currently dropping also share those categories. So we can go into our resources and go into our resource struct and um, add in here a category here and this is going to be useful for our inventory later on and this is why we've got this here so category we're going to do e categories but you want this one all of these are going to be all ingredients all resources so what we're going to do here is go change our default value uh for our oh, down here sorry uh to be ingredients Okay, so in there it's ingredients as default. So if I go to my data table now, you'll see they're all default into ingredients. So I don't have to worry about changing each one manually, it will do it all for me. Okay. And we'll do something similar on our equipment. Yeah, we do category. 
E categories. And we're going to leave it as equipment. Okay. So later on, when we've got our full inventory system in there, when I push the tab key, we'll actually have different sections to this, which we can cycle between. We can cycle between our crafting menu and the ingredients. We can look at the equipment menu. We can also look at the furniture menu. So it'll be separated and sorted out, filtered by our systems here. So it seems a little bit easier. And there we go, we've got the basic starting point of our crafting system where we can start now collecting all those different pieces together and putting them together into a drag and drop interface to create our new items. So you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you like what I do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. Oh, 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 oh,